wanted to thank you on behalf of everybody who's learned such a lot from all your work, all your life, and you've done a fantastic job, and I really yes. wanted to tell you this. In the meantime, I'm 74 years old, but the gods still love me. So <laughs> take... <laughs> the gods are taking good care gods of you. gods still love me, and I'm still <laughs> and continue writing books. So in total, I have, uh, at the moment, 32 books on the market, and I'm just writing one. In the United States, my uh -huh. newest one is called History is Wrong. This one will be in the market in about four months. That's Have you got a photo? History, of course, of course. Here in the Dalish Vita. History is wrong is a great title. Yeah, it's a great, and this is a great mm. book too. Yes. What is your topic? My topic is exactly the same as yours. Great, it's, okay. I should it come is, there. It is presenting the truth to the people who have not been told the truth by the politicians, by the scientists, by they the teachers, anyhow. or even by their parents, because they don't know any better. I know. And what, what we're trying to put in place is an alternative education to, as you said, the title of your new book is called... Uh, history is Wrong. History is Wrong, and history yeah. is wrong. I know. At least quite a lot of it is wrong. Quite a lot of it is wrong. And some scientists mm. are lying to us. Mm -hmm. Of course, the majority are nice and integral personalities, mm -hmm. but some of them are lying. There, there. Yes. And the guys who really know what's going on have all, are all working for the government. Of course. I know. <laughs> Could you remind me, which year did you publish Chariots of the Gods? 1968. 1968. That was in German language. In German. It came in the United States mm -hmm. in 1969. Okay. I bought it in England oh, okay. when, I was, when I was a little kid. Oh, and that, that was the book that got me started on a journey that's now helped me help and my friends help a lot of other people. In the meantime, so, both of us have become not only older but also wiser. Exactly. <laughs> And yet it's Ali Scholz, see you later. No, not yet. 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 Yeah. Someone now has to translate for me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just asked them if they saw all the shows. All, oh no, we haven't seen them and all she, yet. But, but you yeah. saw Nazca, that's important. Nazca? Yeah. And you that saw Megastorms? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vimana here, India. Yeah, yeah. Some of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have some questions to ask you. Yes, please. Like please. Sure. And, of course. And, and all of this is being being recorded with your assumed permission because we'd like to put this out on the internet. That's right. It'd, 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 it'd be our pleasure to give you some publicity for your project. Thank you. <laughs> that, well, we need publicity for this project. Uh, now. But is this now open just for this summer yeah. or is it reopening permanently? What's no. the plan here that you have? In the past uh, it was wrong to, to shut the park down. We should never have closed it because such um, a project is like a big restaurant. You need time. You need at least four or five years so that yes. the public outside of Switzerland knows that such a part of the Switzerland. Yes, so is it. Music is slut to feel. Because music is <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, this is great. So the park is now open in summer for the moment because in winter it was absolutely not a good business. Right. And for the moment we just do it for summer, but uh, then in uh, November we have to uh, decide what to do. And to reopen it for the whole year or not, that we need yes. a new innovation, we need new stuff, new material, yes. which means a lot uh, more money. It's always a question of money. Oh yeah, sure. Nothing yes. else without money. <laughs> well, that's right. Are you trying to reach the children or are you trying to no. reach the people well, we, like us who ask questions? Okay, yes, we, we reach the children, I mean for the children part of the park, but mm -hmm. for the shows, I rather want the adults, mm -hmm. the people who think. You mm -hmm. know, we have a motto here. And the motto is in German only expressible, Das Staunen wieder lernen. Mystery Park is not a place where someone dictates and says, I'm having right. This is the true answer. Mystery Park is the place which ends always with question marks. Okay. When you be careful on your earphone, you 
whatever you see, if it's side attractions or main attractions, it always ends with question marks. Okay. So that's why it's called the mystery park and not the park that has all the answers. If you would give the answers, it's no more mystery. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. But uh, for yourself, personally, do you feel, after all these years, that you've got answers, that you've been looking Of course. For? I, I know very, very clearly what happened. Tell us. Thousands of years. <laughs> so thousands of years ago, the ETs were here, definitely. Sure. And uh, there was an artificial, artificial mutation mm -hmm. changing in our genes. Yeah. So we are partly uh, terrestrials as we are, like evolution, and partly we are extraterrestrials. And what's happening now, Eric? Because there's a big change in consciousness happening on the planet right now. Everyone is aware of it. You must be aware of it. What's going on now? Well, these uh, ETs, when they left us, they promised to return. And they will return. Mm -hmm. Now we have one possible date, this is Maya date, you know, mm -hmm. 2012. How important do you feel that is? Not very. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely sure they will return, but you cannot fix the date, not even with the Maya calendar, because the Maya calendar you have first to calculate into our calendar. And exactly. if this calculation is wrong, yes. if the starting point is wrong, then the end result is wrong too. Mm -hmm. And finally, we are not even sure if our own calendar is correct. Yes. We count 2009. What means 2009 since uh, the, the, the birth of Christ? But if this is wrong, the figure 2009 is wrong too. So maybe they started 30 years later with the count. And so. mm -hmm. It's all a mess. But one thing is definitely sure, they will return. They promised it. We have uh, written reference to that. They will definitely return to Earth. And every culture in the past had this expectation of the re-coming of someone, yes. be it the Maya, the Inca, the Egypt, it matter, they all were expecting somebody. Or even the second coming, which is a kind yes, of metaphor. exactly. And today yes. we have the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Christians, they wait for the re-coming of Jesus Christ, and the, the, the Muslim community wait for the return of the Mahadi, the Jewish society waits for the return of the Messiah. So now, obviously not every religion can be right. Some of them must be wrong. They say they are all wrong. Now, when you say that they're going to return, yeah. you mean they're going to return openly? Yes. Because, of course, they're yeah. here now. Yes. I'm sure we agree on that. This will be a shock. We call it the shock of the gods. The shock of the gods? <laughs> yes. That would be another great title for the So many people. I have in German a book, <laughs> Der Götterschock. Oh, which right. Which is not okay. this existing title. Yeah. The shock of the gods. But now listen, that's it. it's much more important to go to see every show. Exactly. Here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, now it's 14 hours and what? It is. Uh, it's about 14, 14 30, yeah? three minutes. Mm. Well, at three o'clock we have Orient. At three fifteen Natska. Fifteen thirty Maya. Have you seen Maya? Yes, we've seen Maya. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's yes. everything. Yeah. Challenge. Mm -hmm. I've not seen challenge. That's a very good Okay. Okay. Are you satisfied about everything that you've done in your life? Because no. it's a wonderful part. Not everything. I'm satisfied about my, about my books. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have a total edition of about 62 million copies. In many we, different languages. Yeah, in, in 30 languages, which 30 is not back. So that mm -hmm. really means you bring people to think. Yes. You, you are, I, I'm moving something. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, most of the people on this planet, they don't want to know what we declare, what we say. Yes. And some part of the scientific community is not interested at all. They call it yes. all, it's all shit, it's all yes. garbage. But it's easier now than it was when you started 30, Definitely 40 years ago. 40 years ago, even 20 years ago, I was just ridiculed all over. Yes. In the meantime, uh, the situation has changed. Maybe it's a respect of my work or of my age. And uh, some of the clever people, they start to realize that I'm probably mm. not so wrong. Well, I, th so I think yeah, <laughs> Graham Hancock He's probably learned uh, a very I good know deal him, from yes. you. Uh. You know him well because he's taken uh. your work further, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. of course. Uh. But once well, again, Zakaria Sitchin too, or others, exactly. many, many of them. Yes. We know each other. Yes. We all know each other together. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it takes some generation before you change the mind of the people. Well, it's not the quick thing. It's a big team effort, I think. He is, uh, except you, he's not. No, there's another man here, okay. There are three men along, along all this. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's, yeah. it's always the women who are more aware. <laughs> <laughs> you understand that? Yes, yes. I understand. Yes. 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 But, but things are changing, Eric, yes, and it's a team effort. 
One of the reasons why I wanted to meet you was to thank you, as I said, because you were one of the people who really got this ball rolling. That is true. Back in the 1960s. And now so, yes. And because, it, because you had a tough time when you started your book, it's made it much easier for other people to follow. It's like the guys who go into the of jungle course. first of all. You know? But you know, I had the manuscript of Chariots of the Gods, I had, or the Chariots of the Gods, I had the mm -hmm. the first book title. The manuscript was finished in 1966 already. Uh -huh. And I sent it to 20 German publishers, and Swiss publishers. They all rejected it. Mm -hmm. They all sent the manuscript back with the usual blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's not scientific. It's mm -hmm. not uh, the way we can publish it. It's not uh, mm -hmm. belonging to our program and so And finally, I was lucky. I was the manager of a hotel at that time, a first class hotel. And in my hotel, I had a, an editor of a big German newspaper. And he said, hey, I know one of the publishers. We could phone him. And he phoned. So finally, I was lucky to get Chariots of the Gods published in Germany. And the book was already uh, published here. <coughs> After three weeks, it was number one on every bestseller list. Mm -hmm. And then came the United States, England, and so on. Yes. But, but actually, it, with. it was like the right thing at the right time, uh, wasn't it, in, in some ways? Yeah, I was never calculating the right time. I have been accused later. I did it just on purpose on that time to make money. It's all garbage. Sure. The manuscript was, was finished two years ago, mm -hmm. earlier. I yes. just could not find a publisher. Sure, sure. But it's nice to be right, because you must have sold millions of copies of that. Great to be around. Yes, we have sold uh, millions of copies. Mm -hmm. But I made not millions of money. <laughs> I mean, uh, s uh, s sometimes mm -hmm. you had an year where you earned 600,000 Swiss francs, which is brilliant. But at the same year, you just spent 600,000 Swiss francs yes. for some expeditions and helicopters and jungle and stuff and measurements. Yes. So the money comes in and the money goes out. Yes. Yes. But we are working scientifically in the kiosk there, you know, in the, in the shop. Mm -hmm. There is a, a leaflet only in German language that features on this blouse thing, this gratis übrigens. That heißt auf Deutsch, in Natska stimmt etwas nicht. Something is wrong in Natska. It's only in German language. Mm -hmm. can't like this. So <coughs> we have given order to the Technical University in Dresden, special part for technical, to make certain measurements in Natska. Mm -hmm. And the result is absolutely crazy. Natska what is do you crazy. mean? Can you explain more? For example, under the lines, mm -hmm. we found very strong magnetic fields. Mm -hmm. You can measure them, you know exactly, it's two and a half meter meet deep in the ground. Mm -hmm. But you have no possibility to dig there. This is all under terrible control. If you just take a little stone away, or under an ash stone. Yeah. Or we find a, a, a change of the electric field. So look, if I put 220 volt in here, and I have a measurement instrument, and I measure here, so how was the current, was it flowing? So is the electric strom geflossen or nicht? And we have made 50 points in the desert, and in the desert, of course, there is no electric flow because uh, sand is as a high e isolator, yes. like ceramic, for example. Sure, sure. But on the lines, mm. the flow of the electric uh, uh, currency was 8,000 times higher than just next to it in the desert. You find all this in this booklet with the pictures, yes. with the measuring there. Yes. Yes. Um, What's your own theory about the Nazca lines, Eric? Because it's a real mystery. I mean, that, uh, is, that is a real mystery. Yes, I'm sure there were extraterrestrials. Mm -hmm. Not in the sense that they needed an airstrip. They don't need the airstrip. Sure. There was a, some sort of machine coming down, like a shuttle. And they were looking for raw material. I don't know what sort of raw material. Uranium, copper, or whatever. They were looking for raw material and they were digging away the raw material. And the natives could not understand what was going on. The natives were afraid. They were thinking these gods were coming down. And only after the extraterrestrials left again, so to say when their tank was full, they had some lines on the ground. And they said, there are the gods yeah. made these lines. Yeah. And now the natives, they start to produce lines themselves. So they were imitating the gods. Imitating the gods. And finally a priest had a good idea, they always had a good idea, said that, we have to show them signs up there. We have to show them that we are here. So now in the lines they start with gigantic figures of fishes and monkeys and spiders and birds. birds. Anyhow, but the main thing is they will return. Mm -hmm. Be sure about this. That's the changing. And people like you, people like me, maybe people like them, 
we have a sense for this. We have a feeling. Oh yeah. We know that something is coming. Absolutely. And this is not just imagination. It's why I'm here this lifetime. That's we have. It has mm. to do with our uh, genetic code, with the information which we have in us. Sure. Are you optimistic for the future of the human race? This is a big question. Well, that's a big question. Nobody mm. knows. Of course, we will survive. Mm. Uh, all humanity will never be destroyed, even if we have some catastrophes and so forth. Some will survive and then we continue the next generation. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the game is, yes. Listen, so the game is not over yet. The I game is never over. <laughs> the game continues over time. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much Just for read my book, She Read It Here. Yes. Pause it for me and go to the Nuts Camp. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Yes. 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 Yes